In this video we're going to be finding the mean and variance of a PDF which contains more than one function. So if you remember we're going to be applying these laws and let's have a look at an exam question. So here's an exam question. Uh, the first part asks us to show that k equals a ninth. This video is not about that so I'm just going to cheat a little bit and change that k to a ninth and I'm going to make this 3k. 3 times a ninth makes this 3 over 9. So we're just going to use the function as if we've already found k and we're going to find the mean of x and I'm going to also add in find uh, the variance of x. So if we look at finding the mean, we're going to be using this formula here. We can see that it's not going to be a symmetrical function if we, if we try sketching it out. Between 0 and 3 it's a, a positive quadratic and between 3 and 4 it's a straight line so I'm gonna, gonna draw in that straight line first it's a straight line at 3 ninths which is a third so I'm gonna draw that in and between 0 and 3 it's this function here so when I substitute 0 into that, I'm going to get 1 ninth times 0 minus 0 plus 2, so that will give me a height of 2 ninths. So this is 2 ninths. This height here is 3 ninths. So the quadratic starts at 2 ninths. At 3, when I substitute 3 in, I'm going to get 9 minus 6 plus 2 which is 5 divided by 9, which will give me a height at 3 of 5 ninths. Now, I'm unsure whether this curve goes directly from 2 ninths up to 5 ninths like that, or whether it takes a dip and then also and then goes up. So I'm going to substitute in some other values to find out. So I'm going to substitute in the value of 2 to find out. When I do that, I'm going to get 4 minus 4 plus 2, which will give me a height of 2 ninths, so it does actually go down. And then it's going to be symmetrical around 1, so let's find the height. When we substitute in 1, we're going to get a height of 1 ninth at that point. So I'm going to try and sketch this curve here going through all of these points. So that's what our PDF looks like. So it's a quadratic curve between 1 and 3, and then it's a straight line between 3 and 4. So it's definitely not symmetrical. So now if we look at finding the expectation of x, or the, the mean of x, we need to multiply both functions by x. Remember, we're doing x times fx. So for the first part, we've got the integral between 0 and 3, I'm going to take a ninth out straight away and I'm going to multiply each term by x. So when I multiply x squared by x, I'm going to get x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x. Then I'm going to add the next function, which is between 3 and 4. If I multiply it by x, I'm going to get a third of x. So I'm going to take that third out, x on the inside, 3 and 4 are my limits. So if we integrate these, the first one we're going to have x to the power of 4 over 4 minus 2x cubed over 3 plus 2x squared. That's between 0 and 3. 
and for the second part we have to add it on we've got a third of x squared over 2 between 3 and 4 so if we substitute in our limits we're going to get 81 over 4 minus 54 over 3 plus 18 over 2 when we substitute in 3 if we substitute in 0 all of these terms are going to be 0 so we don't need to worry about those then for the second function of our PDF we're going to get 16 over 2 minus that's when I substitute in 4 now I substitute in 3 9 over 2 and if you calculate all of this together we're going to get 29 over 12 as our final answer for the expectation of x. So we found the expectation of x. Now we need to find the mean of uh, sorry the variance of x. So moving on to find the variance of x, just got a blank version. Just keep that expectation of x up there for the minute just so we can see it because we're going to need that when we're finding the variance so if you remember we need to integrate both functions between their limits but we need to multiply them by x squared this time so I'm going to take a ninth out of the first function multiply every term by x squared so we'll have to integrate x to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed plus 2x squared between 0 and 3 and we're going to add on between 3 and 4 x squared I'm going to multiply it by a third because we're doing the integral or x squared times 3 ninths which is a third and then finally we can't forget to take away the mean which is 29 over 12 all squared Okay, so let's start by integrating this first function. We're going to get 1 ninth times x to the power of 5 over 5 minus 2x to the power of 4 over 4 plus 2x to the power of 3 over 3. That's between 0 and 3. I'm going to add to that one third times x cubed over three and that's between three and four and then we're going to take away 29 over 12 which is the mean all squared so if we substitute in our values into the first one we've got one over nine times 243 over five minus 162 over 4 plus 54 over 3 and if we substitute in the 0 all of those terms become 0 and then on the second one we've got a third times 64 over 3 minus 27 over 3 and again we're going to take away 29 over 12 all squared so when we calculate these, this first one comes to 29 over 10, the second one is 37 over 9, we're going to take away 29 over 12 all squared, and when we put that in our calculator and work it out, we'll get that the variance is 281 over 240. So these are quite complicated examples where we have more than one function and as you can see you can get quite a lot of working out in order to get to, to your to your final answer so be careful with the integrations and always remember with the finding the variance that we are taking away the mean all squared as well as multiplying each term by x squared